What's up guys, this is Mark from DSG and I just wanted to do this quick video on choosing a niche for for Shopify, right? Um, I know that it could be daunting, but I've been doing a lot of different um, trainings, a lot of different courses over the past um, couple of weeks. My buddy Mike and DSG has introduced me to to this course I want to finish the entire thing first before I tell you guys about it and get some results and show that I'm making money with it before I talk about it but it's looking very promising and between that course two two other courses I did the the, the ecom dudes which is okay um, the drop civil drops ship lifestyle course which again is okay is not the greatest um, I was working with between those three courses, Mike, a friend that I met through the final course I paid for, and three sites, three Shopify sites that I run, I think that this is a, a very powerful method. I wouldn't call it a method. It's a kind of way of thinking about your niche and how to get there. So let me stop fucking rambling. It's, I'm almost a minute and I'm just talking on my ass. So let's get into it. So first of all, choosing a niche could be success or failure when it comes to drop shipping on Shopify. It's daunting. Um, it could be a pain in the ass of a process. And the sad thing is if you choose it all willy nilly without having any sort of real plan behind it, you can end up spending money in, 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 in Facebook ads and marketing and then realizing that the niche may be the problem. So let me just kind of go into, first of all, the type of niches, you know, you can choose some interests, what's popular, what you see online, and that could set you up for failure, right? So I want to just give you a different way of thinking about it, of crossing out. This method will help you cross out a lot of things that will make you fail, and it, it will kind of narrow down how you think about niches. So the Facebook group method. So I didn't write up anything. I may write up something and do a blog post about it. But basically, the, the, the long and short of it is you want to choose a niche that you could build a Facebook group around, right? Let me say it again. You want to choose a niche that you could build a Facebook group around. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but let me, let's get into it and I'll show you what I mean. So the reason why why you want to do that is because you're gonna get you you're gonna build something around a, a niche that has a solid following, right? You want to set up your business where you don't want to be paying for ads all the time, right? You don't want to be making money solely on 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 paid advertising. The reason why is because paid advertising is only gonna get more expensive as time goes on because more and more people are jumping in on using it. So if you could build a, a drop shipping business and a Facebook group where you could post when you have new products and new items and your, your community interacts around that, those items, then you would get some sales. I, I mean, Mike in particular, he gets two or three sales every day and he does not pay for any paid advertising whatsoever. So it's an interesting tactic because you're not going to be, be paying for traffic all the time. Another thing is each customer, when thinking about it like that, this is going to be worth more. And the reason why is each customer has an opportunity to buy multiple items, right? A lot of the dropship model that we do on Amazon and eBay, we ignore the fact that we want multiple, we want customers to buy more than once because we don't have to provide the traffic. eBay and Amazon provide the traffic. But when we structure our niche like this, you have people they might buy one item, buy another item. And as I go along and explain all of this, you'll get a more, I'll go into some examples of niches. So you'll get a more solid idea of what I'm talking about. So some of the examples. So let me give you a couple of examples of specific niches so you'll understand what I'm talking about. For instance, one of my stores is Trini HQ. So what we're doing is we're targeting people from Trinidad and Tobago that live in the US. And we, we're starting off with a base, we started off with a base of 24 designs, 12 men, 12 women. And 
every month we'll be launching different designs, different products and that type of stuff. In that way, we are continuously providing a unique design, unique products for this niche, right? So you'll have people that might, I'll give you an example, we might sell a t-shirt that is, I don't know, 100% Trini, right? And then maybe around wedding season, we'll put some t-shirts and marry to a Trini. Or maybe for Christmas or, or, or another month, we'll put out some baby items. And you see those same people have the opportunity, it's not guaranteed they'll purchase more than once, but they have the opportunity to purchase again. Another thing about this is when you're doing this type of drop shipping through Shopify and, and that type of stuff, especially when you want to build a Facebook group around it, you would not be drop shipping from Amazon and, 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 and Walmart, right? You want to provide unique products and, and, and that cannot just be copied because you don't want a situation where in the Facebook group, someone's like, hey, this dude bought it from from Amazon and it just throws off your whole your whole um, plan your whole structure so understand this is not the only way to do things people do drop ship from Amazon to Shopify but I'm sp speaking about specifically choosing this niche let me give you an example of a niche a niche that where you could drop ship from let's say um, what do you call this thing Aliexpress but it's not a customizable um, example. So let's say, I, I let's say you, you you create a gadget site, a cooking gadget site, or computer gadgets, or drone gadgets, right? It would be your responsibility to keep up, other than driving paid traffic, other than posting these new products in your Facebook group. It will be your responsibility to see to to view what new gadgets are coming out on AliExpress. Maybe even purchase one and do a review on it to build that following, to build that, um, that, that, that community, right? I saw an example from the um, e-com dudes where he created a store on, on a knife sharpener, right? And he did paid traffic directly to that knife, knife sharpener and just kept pushing that knife sharpener. Now, if you stuck to the paid traffic model and all you did was keep pumping traffic trying to sell that item and trying to continue this um the sales it may work it may it may definitely work and then your price will keep going up and up and up and maybe a year into it the metrics wouldn't work and you have to start from scratch now if you use that same traffic to create a community around cooking gadgets and every month you put out a new gadget and every month and you have that interaction that feedback with the customers yes it's more work but you have a continuous following you have unpaid traffic that may be just more it's just more valuable because you're not paying for it and some of these guys will purchase more than once and they're interacting with your brand they're interacting with mark the cooking gadgets guy you see what i'm saying so hopefully you get an idea so when choosing thinking about a long-term niche my suggestion would be to look to look for a niche that you could build a facebook group around yes it would be more work but it would have to be a niche where you have in-depth in-depth knowledge of it would have to be a you'll have to ver structure everything very carefully and it's a more long-term play and it sets you up for for adding a real value. A lot of job shippers uh, uh, want to do pure arbitrage, meaning that the only value that you're adding is just to be able to get in front of the buyer when they're ready to buy at a higher price. But when you look at it, when you look for a niche in this way, you, you're creating a niche where you add value, you add value of maybe your knowledge of the niche, or you add value of the research that you're gonna put in. And, and that way you just, you get a, you build a real long term business where the customers would have uh, uh, a connection with the brand or the store that you're pushing out, right? Um, I know this is conclusion, but another example of this. Let me just do it real quickly. Is uh, should I put out the name? I wouldn't talk about the name, but basically, I'm working with with a buddy of mine who has an idea for a clothing brand, and he has decent designs. He's going to be, he has a decent Instagram, Instagram following, but he, he doesn't know anything about e-commerce. He doesn't know anything about drop shipping. So it's an interesting 
partnership where me as the, the expert in, 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 in drop shipping would create the store, the, the connected to Printful and all these type of things. And we'll couple my actions with the paid traffic, with his interaction, with his following and all his, mind, his, his networking and so on in New York. Anyway, so that's, I, I will do a, when we finish the site and we show sales, I'll do a proper breakdown of the site and what we're doing and, and the value add that we have. The site should be launched by the end of this week. It's now like the 14th of, of January, so by the 21st. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for your time, guys. Love you, travel your love, be loved. Hopefully you took something away from this video. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Um, Sh Shopify dropshipping is huge if you go about it the right way. I know I have a video on why Shopify dropshipping is stupid if you dropship first, and that's solely because of, of the type of person that I see keep getting to Shopify and failing. Anyway, guys, subscribe, and there should be a subscribe button somewhere on the screen sometime around now, and have a good one. Comment, guys, I'll answer your questions in videos if it's complicated and I answer every single comment. Love you guys.